Hello, my name's Rick from Solar Crest. Just want to talk us through a trap assembly for the Zender Q, Q600 or, in fact, any Zender machine in the Q range. Um, obviously, the Zender machines are European and the, the fittings which they send out with you, which come with the machine to get you to um, UK fittings, are these two components here. This one we generally discard because it doesn't fit inside a UK push fit or solvent weld fitting. You can play around a little bit with blow torches by heating up the 32mm pipe to squeeze it over here, but that for me is not fully fully insured. So um, I have developed a solution to get from this fitting to <clears throat> UK fittings. Uh, we use a condensate trap, the um, HEP, HEP VO, and these are diaphragm traps, supposed to be maintenance free. And there's a there's a diaphragm in here, so it allows water to go one way, but not air to come back the other, and that obviously protects the system from any foul smells coming up. These condensate traps have got a, a flow direction on them, and it's important that we look at that and we get this in the correct position if it's run horizontal it needs to be in that position okay you see how there's just a slight fall there um, you can if you look closely here you can see where it says flow you can't see it it's just there in embossed print okay so these also come with a straight connector we can use this sometimes if we get to 21.5 overflow but generally with the zenders we stick to 32 millimeter Right, so we'll just put that to one side. The kit also comes with an el with an elbow, and this elbow enables us to get under tight spaces, underneath machines, and if we just screw this on this video, generally we will always use this elbow unless the zender's on a wall. We can hang the trap vertically down, but generally this will go underneath underneath the zender. Now the issue is, which is an important one to, to, uh, to flag up and the main reason for this video is this fitting does not seal onto here. If you look there's about a four millimeter space there and this has really got to push down and seal upon that rubber washer there and it doesn't. Uh, I think there's been times in the past where installers may have assumed that if you put it on and screw it up It's going to pull down, but no matter how much you try it just will not Okay, so I'm pretty certain that there might be other elbows on on the market Which have just got a flat flange here to allow this to to screw down But I know that McAlpine don't do one But McAlpine do do this fitting here, which is called um, a waste extender if you you're in the trade but the the product code is s12a-f so this fitting inside has got like a flat flange here which is uh, helps us to get this completely sealed so that will push on to the, the trap and I'll just tighten that up It makes the whole assembly about another 20 mil longer, but if you actually set your machine on a stand, there should be enough room underneath. Uh, and once this goes inside the machine a bit, we should be able to, if you set the machine 100 mil off the floor, if you've got height restrictions, you will still be able to fit this assembly underneath. So again, if we just look at this flat flange here, and this is almost flat on the bottom of this spigot, which comes with the Zender kit, it's actually got four bayonets on it. You push it into, you push it into the Zender, and these bayonets engage. And then you turn it ninety degrees, and it locks in place. And then the seal makes it watertight. Okay, so I'm going to screw this onto here. Okay, so if you look at that, oh, once that's in the machine and the, the height of this, it's round about hundred mil. So there we have it, a watertight condensate assembly. And from this end, it'll just be 30, 32 millimeter uh, push fit or solvent weld pipe from um, our system. And that'll go to the nearest internal foul drain. 
and started to insulate these as well because sometimes they can in certain weather conditions the the pipe can be at dew point so just for insurance we always insulate the condensate now so there you have it thanks for watching and this is how i hope to see all zender condensate assemblies moving forward thank you